Hi everybody, this is Craig from RBA Vapor Store and I'm making a little how-to video for you guys on how to change and adjust your pins. Uh, some guys say their pin is a little too tight. Uh, it's the floating pin that we're talking about here. So, basically I'm going to tell you guys how to get it out, how to do the adjustment, uh, how to modify it slightly so that it slips so that it's a slip fit it fits real nice for you and you can just make it perfect okay so basically I'll show you and technically in a perfect world uh, this is actually the Red Phoenix Panzer that we sell it is a gorgeous super powerful mod I'm gonna take my atomizer off here now this one uh, right out of the box it uh, it was perfect so I'm going to show you guys in a perfect world. Um, basically, there's your pin. This is actually the extended pin. I designed uh, a longer pin specifically for the 18650 battery, and I send one out with these mods when I sell them, and guys have to change their pin. So sometimes they say, oh, well, my pin's a little tight. How do I get it out? So I'm going to show you. Okay, in a perfect world, okay, you should be able to just pull this pin out, okay? That's a slip fit. Uh, I've been a tool and die maker for 30 years. I work with fit and dowel pins and stuff like that all day long. And then you should be able to take your pin and put it back in and just push it down. Every time you put a new atomizer on, okay, say you switch atomizers and your thread is longer on one atomizer to the next, okay, basically when you, put, you push this pin up and... Uh, you would want to be able to push it up with your finger. If you can't push it up with your finger, sometimes when they're tight, I'll just take it and I'll put it on a table and push down, okay? And it will push it back up. But uh, you really, you, you want to be able to push it in with your finger. So we're going to show you how to do that, okay? When I put my atomizer on, okay, I'm going to screw it on, okay? And then now you feel it hit the floating pin okay see you have a gap in there okay let me see if I can show you that you have a gap you continue screwing okay if your pin is tight you can still continue screwing it's gonna move okay you screw it down so that you have no gap in there and you use your adjustment pin you know to fit it on there so that there the battery doesn't rattle around so I'm going to screw and I'm going to make the adjustment here so I can screw this on. Okay, and you'll feel it. Okay, so that's a nice fit. There's no battery rattle in there. Okay, so if you cannot pull your pin out, if your pin is a little tight, if it's too tight, I think they error on the side of tight because if you got a mod and your pin was falling out all the time, you probably wouldn't be too happy about it. So, really, to have a perfect slip fit, the tolerance has to be very tight. Okay, there can't, there's not a whole lot of room for error in there. So, we're going to look at one that has a bit of a tighter pin. Okay, so this Blackhawk here. Now, the one that I use when I took it out of the package, it was perfect. And some guys say that their pin is too tight. Okay, so I'm going to try to pull this one out. Okay, I pulled it out. Okay, some guys can't pull them out. Some guys say that they're too tight. I'm going to show you how to loosen it up. Okay, if you can't pull it out, okay, there's a couple things. Go get yourself a machine screw from Menards okay and and I'll show you there's a purpose for this okay take your mod and you're just going to carefully tap it out this is a four millimeter I've got a three millimeter here I've got a five millimeter here I'm gonna use the four millimeter and I'm just going to put it in if you don't want your pin to get all marked up or anything you could take file this is a three dollar file I got from Menards um, you can kind of file the sharp edge off there ok 
okay nicely because I don't want to mark up my pin right I mean is it gonna mark it up I don't know maybe okay so I'm gonna take this in put it in here from the top and I'm just gonna tap it carefully okay okay I tapped it out so now the pin is out okay so there you are you have your pin okay now if the pin is too tight okay some people sand them down I'm gonna show you this is uh, what I do okay this is what I would do I think that it's the best way to do it okay this floating pin the Shenzi mods have a three millimeter tapped hole in here okay the other mods the infinite fast tech advocate and those have a four millimeter so basically you'll have to get the right size this one I already chopped off a three millimeter um, so I'm going to actually cut the four millimeter which is actually harder to cut but all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a pair of side cutters okay and I'm going to cut the head off I'm gonna cut the head off so I can chuck it up in a drill and screw the floating pin on there I'm gonna turn the drill on and I'm just gonna file it lightly so I take a thousand or two off and fit it in the insulator so that it floats nicely okay so this is the four millimeter I already cut off the three millimeter and that was pretty easy so we'll see if I can cut the four millimeter with the side cutters okay I just cut the four millimeter okay we don't need this one we need the three millimeter okay I already cut both of those off so basically and I have one of these in the drill already you're gonna take your machine screw that the head is chopped off and you are going to screw your floating pin on okay screw the floating pin on there and I'm gonna put it in the drill and I'm going to chuck it up. Okay. So, I got my floating pin chucked up with the machine screw. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to take a file and I'm going to file a thousand or two off of it and fit it until it flows nicely. Okay. So, I'm going to turn it on. You can even file a little radius on here, okay? Okay, so now we're going to fit it. We're going to see if it fits nicely in the Blackhawk, okay? Now, I didn't take much of it off, okay? I just barely took any off, okay? And I'm going to try that in there. I just pushed it right in with my hand. Okay, I took a thousand off. That's not much. Be error on the side of not taking too much off because if your pin falls out, you might want to buy a new pin or you're going to get a little bit frustrated and swear once in a while because your pin keeps falling out. So that was it. That's all I needed to do to um, make my floating pin a little bit smaller. Okay, now. I'm going to pull it out. Mm. It's still tight, okay? So, let's see here. I pushed it back in here. Okay, there we go. Slips in, slips out. Like I said, I didn't want to take too much off, but I can pull it out now, and I can push it back in. So that's actually my opinion. That's a perfect fit. I don't want it falling out. So let me try to pull that out one more time. It's hard to grab here. Okay, so there we go. That fixed it. I don't have to tap it out. So now, when I put my atomizer on, okay, when I change atomizers, I'm going to screw the atomizer on, okay, 
until it bottoms out flush, okay? And then you can use the adjustment pin to adjust it so that there is no battery rattle. And there you have it. All you need is a pair of side cutters, something to tap it. It could be a hammer. It's a rusty hammer. A drill and uh, a machine screw that is the right size for um, your floating pin. It's either going to be three millimeters, four millimeters. If you want to measure your floating pin because you're not sure what size you want to buy copper pins or upgrade your pins, you get yourself a digital caliper. You can buy these for like ten dollars on eBay shipped. So um and then you measure it okay this one measures five okay the shenzi floating pins are five millimeters i know the infinite panzer has a six millimeter so some of them are different sizes so if you go to buy pins you know make sure that you measure it uh if you buy yourself a digital caliper like this it is money well spent okay so i think that pretty much covers it i'm not going to waste any more of your time and uh don't forget uh i am from rba vapor store my website is rbavapor.com uh, my name is craig and thanks for watching